Why is this bear on a woman's doorstep? What happened to it? What's the story between the bear and the woman? The woman is a forest explorer who joined the town's forest rescue team as captain a few years ago. As usual, woman and team members take part in forest conservation activities. There are many birds and animals in the forest, and the group of teams comes slowly, wearing protective clothing, carrying rescue kits and flashlight sources through the forest. As they walk all the way, suddenly one of the team members whispers if they hear anything, and everyone shakes their heads. Maybe she hears it wrong. Just a few steps, another team member says that there seems to be some noise, and the woman decides to check it out, as if it is in the grass over there. Several newcomers come to the team, and the woman knows that they are timid, so she decides to go and check by herself. The woman takes a flashlight and explores the way while shining. Come on, it's here, it's a bear. Everyone runs over, it's a little bear. Is it separated from its parents? One of the team members says that there is a wound on its leg, and the woman hurriedly takes off the medical bag. Everyone comes to help bandage it, otherwise it would not be good for its wound to be infected. After hearing this, they immediately set off, first take out scissors to trim its fur, and then use disinfectant to disinfect it, as well as gauze, half an hour later, its wound is finally bandaged. The bear doesn't make a sound all the way, and let the people of the rescue team bandage it. It looks very clever and sensible. What can they do now? Do they have to take it back? The woman decides that it would be better to take it back to recover from the injury, and then the woman continues to walk into the forest with the rescue team. Some people say that bears are found here, and there must be other creatures. The woman nods, the original purpose of our rescue team is to protect them as much as we can. The crowd agree that I end the following journey, they find rabbits, wolves, hyenas and so on. And they bandage them just like the bear. The rescue team is stationed in the forest for two days, and the woman feels very relieved when they talk about the feeling of helping animals. The woman informs everyone that they will go back tomorrow so that everyone should take a good rest tonight. At night, when the woman can't sleep, she comes out of the tent to take a breath and looks at the starry sky. She's in a mixed mood. Hoping that the animals in this forest can grow up well. They put the bear next to the camp, and the noise is from the bear. It may have missed its parents. The woman tries to touch the bear and tells the bear to get better quickly in order to find its mother for reunion. Otherwise other beasts stronger than it in the forest would bully it. The bear seems to understand and stops making any noise, and the woman let it rest by the camp. Early the next morning, the woman gathers the team to get ready to go back, and little bear follows closely. As if there are thousands of mood swings in its heart. The woman thinks that the bear will find its parents. It looks very sensible. After not thinking so much, she continues to quicken her pace out of the forest, thinking that they must get out of the forest before night. In the evening, when they return to the rescue house, everyone is exhausted. The woman asks them to have a good rest. They can have two days off, the bear will be taken home by her to take care of it. The woman drives the bear back to her home, ready to take a good bath and have a rest. She sleeps very sweetly the night. The next day the woman wakes up and decides to make herself a big breakfast and prepare another one for the little guy. A few months later, the little guy's injury is almost better. During this period, people from the rescue team visited it a lot and brought it a lot of favorite fish. Will its injury be bad? The woman discusses with everyone. She decides to put it back in the wild. It doesn't belong here. They set off to load it into the car and take it back to the forest. The bear notices something strange and keeps barking. 
The woman can't bear it, but she still can't take it in. A few days after putting it back in the wild, the woman is cooking breakfast at home as usual, when she hears a clanging sound at the door. She runs to see who's playing a prank. When she sees it, the woman is startled, it is the bear. How did it get here? The woman opens the door for it, but the bear is too big to get in, so the woman goes out and takes it to the yard. It is incredible. The woman contacts the rest of the rescue team, and everyone is shocked and they come to the woman's house. It's so spiritual, it must be here to thank you. The bear gives the woman a big hug, and tears fill everyone's eyes. They didn't expect a bear to be so conscious. The woman contacts the local wildlife conservation society and decides to send it to the reserve so that it can grow well, the bear feels the parting again, but the woman promises to visit it regularly. The bear seems to understand, and then it is taken away by the association. Everyone is still immersed in the incredible, and the woman is very hard to leave, but it does not belong here and must be set free after hearing this story, I believe everyone is moved by it. Animals are also grateful. And we should try our best to protect them in our daily life. The next story is also about a bear. Let's take a look at it together. Point 23 years ago, Svetlana and Yuri just got married. They both liked animals very much and had the idea of setting up a conservation group before they got married. Now they had more time together. They often went to the zoo and went to the animal wetland to see how the animals were growing. On this day, the couple went on a date at the zoo as usual. When they went to the brown bear club, they saw a little brown bear caged aside. The couple discussed and decided to ask what was going on. After some questioning, they learned that the little brown bear was rescued in the mountains. When the rescuers saw it, it was hurt all over. It should have experienced something bad, not to mention that its parents were missing. After listening to this, the couple discussed with the garden director for a while and told him that they had set up a protection organization and were interested in adopting the little guy. The garden director was very happy to hear this and asked the couple to sign the commitment. When the couple came back, they cleaned up the backyard for the little guy to stay. It was so quiet that there was no noise in the middle of the night, and the couple named it Seichapan. It is a brown bear. It was only three months old when it was found. It was small. And its parents were not by its side, so the couples could rest assured that they took care of it by themselves to prevent it from falling into the hands of lawbreakers. As time went by, Seijapan grew up and unwittingly accompanied the couple for 23 years, during this period. A lot of hilarious things happened. Seijapan was gentle and never naughty, and the dog in the next yard barked when it saw Seijapan, but Seijapan didn't want to affect the couple, so it kept silent, went back to the backyard to play by itself. Seijapan usually learned from humans to help water the flowers, and accidentally poured them on Svetlana. It was really cute and funny. When it saw the couple watching TV on the sofa, it would go over and stare at the TV for a long time. We couldn't know if this guy understood it or not. When the couple ate snacks, it would also learn to open the package and stuffed it into the mouth, pick up the cup and learn to drink water, which made the couple laugh and looked funny. Seichapan was gentle and obedient. It dared not come out when the couple's friends came, for fear of scaring their friends. It would come out to play with them only when their friends expressed that they were not afraid animals can also be good friends with their baby closely and not let anyone take it away. However, this mother bear was very strange, it even gave up its two bear cubs to humans, were the two bear cubs not its own? Why would it do that? This mother bear lived in a dense forest. After giving birth to two bear cubs, its life had become lively. 
Although it worried about the two bears every day, its happiness level was soaring. Watching the two children grow up little by little, it was also very happy in its heart. However, one day, the mother bear fell into a trap while playing with its children in the forest. It was the dreaded poachers. The trapped mother bear looked at its two young children and was very sad, thinking that it see. Who would not accompany them to grow up, but hoped that they would be safe in the future and would not fall into the hands of the bad guys. While thinking, the mother bear let the two bear cubs leave. But how could a child leave its mother? The two bear cubs looked at their mother trapped in the trap and were sad, and the bear cubs didn't know what to do. Was the mother bear going to die here? Fortunately, two camping men happened to pass by at that moment, and the mother bear then asked them for help. The two men saw that the mother bear was already injured, so they rushed to work together to get it out of the trap. The two men were glad that they had brought a medical kit with them on their camping trip. So they found anti-inflammatory medicine from it to stop the bleeding and cleaned the wound for the mother bear, applied the medicine and carefully bandaged it. The mother bear was very quiet during the process, even when the medicine was applied to the wound, it didn't move a bit, probably because it wanted to cooperate with the two men and didn't want the two bear cubs to worry. Later, the two men stopped the bleeding, and the two bear cubs, though they were still ignorant, they looked happy to see their mother not bleeding. But they knew how to behave, even though they wanted to hug their mother, they restrained. The rescued mother bear's eyes were full of gratitude, B.U. T. It didn't know how to express it, and with the pain of its wounds, it looked overwhelmed, but kept looking at the two men gratefully. The two men understood what the mother bear meant and said they were happy to be able to help it in time and hoped that the mother bear and the bear cubs would be careful not to be caught by the bad guys again. The mother bear then took the two bear cubs away, looking back as it went. The two bear cubs were also very good and kept quietly watching their mother. Fearing that it might be in danger again. Seeing such a warm scene, we could be sure that the two bear cubs would love their mother when they grow up, and if any bad guys dare to hurt their mother again, they would repel the bad guys. And the two men, who had chosen a flatter piece of land in the forest after Mother Bear left, moved down from the car with camping gear and food and started drinking and chatting, having a great time. After a good meal, the two men got into the car and went to sleep, spending a wonderful night in the quiet natural environment. When they woke up the next morning, the two men looked out the window at the warm sunshine and were in a good mood, so they got out of the car for a walk. But when they go T out of the car, they couldn't help but freeze. There were two bear cubs looking at them innocently from the back of the car, and they were not afraid to see them. The two men were confused, were these the two babies of the mother bear yesterday? Where did the mother bear go? How did the two bear cubs get here? Despite the uncertainty, the two men decided to take care of the bear cubs and not to leave them behind. What's more, they were small and fluffy, with a cute, innocent look on their faces. The two men reached out and stroked the bear cubs, and they didn't hide. They were like two soft and cuddly kittens. Considering that the two bear cubs might not have eaten anything, the two men took out frozen fish from the car and then searched for some dry branches, built a fire and roasted some fish to share with the two cubs. The two cubs were mainly drinking their mother's milk since they were born, and it was the first time they ate the fragrant fish, they were like children who had been given candy and ate it with joy. Seeing the cubs peacefully, the two men guessed that there was no danger to the mother bear, otherwise the bear cubs would not essay tea here. After all, they cried in anxiety when the mother bear fell into the trap yesterday. So where did the mother bear go? Why would it leave two bear cubs here? The two men thought about it. After some discussion, they came up with a possibility, after being rescued by them, 
the mother bear felt unable to repay them, so it gave them its two cubs as a thank you gift for saving its life. The two cubs were the most precious treasures to the mother bear, so you could imagine how upset it was when it gave them to the two men. But this was the way it could think of to repay, and it was also the most sincere way to repay. Of course, the reason why the mother bee ear gave the two babies to the two men was that it confirmed that the two men were good guys, otherwise it would not give the children away in order to repay the kindness of saving their lives, that was its heart. The two men understood the mother bear's intentions and didn't know what to do. The forest was so big, and it was hard for them to find the mother bear. Looking at the two cute bear cubs, they decided after some discussion to send the bear cubs to the veterinary hospital first and ask about feeding the bears. It turned out that the veterinarian warned them that they could not adopt the cubs. The two men then returned to the forest with the two bear cubs and decided to help the bear cubs find their mother. And halfway through the search for mother bear, there was a hiccup. They were spotted by an unsuspecting hunter. Knowing they had two cubs in their hands, the hunters forced them to hand them over. Just when the two men were in trouble, the vanished mother bear appeared. It was recovering well from its wounds and had most of its strength back, so it rushed up and rescued the men and the cubs. The two men were happy and surprised to see the mother bear. It turned out that it had not gone far aft. Are giving them the two cubs, but was hiding somewhere silently keeping an eye on the situation, before she appeared immediately to chase away the hunters when they and the bear cubs were in danger. The mother bear was so compassionate and righteous. In face of the two men's kindness, it not only sent its children out to repay the favor, but it also guarded silently not far away after it sent its children out. This pure and selfless emotion was very touching. In the end, the two men returned the bee. Ear cubs to its mother, saying that although its children were cute and they loved them, they could not keep its children. The two bear cubs also needed their mother's company as they grew up, and the mother bear needed the care of its two children when it was old, and the human world had everything, so they couldn't take them away. The mother bear then took the two bear cubs to say goodbye to the man and kept looking back at the two men as they left, as if to imprint the benefactor's likeness. In its mind, animals are so spiritual and know how to be grateful after getting rescued. Their emotional world is not much different from that of humans, they just usually express it differently. Including the two cubs, they must have been sad to be separated from their mother but they seemed to understand that their mother gave them to two men as a reward for their kindness, so they didn't make a fuss and were well behaved. The good news was that the mother bear and its two cubs were finally reunited, and H. Hope they will be happy and peace in the future.